Baltimore's Royal Theater was a place where music legends like James Brown and Billie Holiday would perform. Unfortunately, it was torn down decades ago. WJZ continues, continues honoring our area's rich African American history during Black History Month. And in today's Coffee with, Jessica Albert tells us about an effort to revive that theater. How can you pass Black History Month and not recognize the Royal Theater and the fact that it was built by African Americans? The Royal Theater was an icon in Baltimore. It's where African Americans celebrated music. James Brown, the Miracles, uh, Louis Armstrong, Patti LaBelle. I mean, all of those stars play the Royal. The Royal was built in 1922. It stood along Pennsylvania Avenue before being torn down in the 70s. James Dow used to work there. I miss that. You know, having a place to go on a Friday, you know, midnight show. The Royal lives on through the Royal Theater Community Heritage Corporation and the Avenue Bakery. James Hamlin is the president of the Community Heritage Corporation and owns the bakery, which doubles as a museum filled with memorabilia from Pennsylvania Avenue's heyday. The Avenue Bakery focuses uh, to attract people back to Pennsylvania Avenue, prove that we as African Americans can. Uh, uh, rebuild our business in our community. The Royal Theater Community Heritage Corporation just celebrated the Royals 100th anniversary this month. The group is working to rebuild the theater and bring other shops and businesses with it to get Pennsylvania Avenue back to its former glory. Baltimore only gets attention when it's negative. We have to create the positive. We have to invest whatever we have uh, to make a difference. The Royal Theater Community Heritage Corporation is looking for donations to rebuild the theater. You can find information on how to do that on our website, WJZ.com. Reporting in Baltimore, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.